What's going on guys? Welcome to Drive Talk Cars. My name is Ben. Thank you for checking out my channel. Today we're going to be talking about tailpipes. Today I'm going to be cleaning them. I've been trying to clean them for some time ever since I got the car. They were really bad, but they're still kind of got some black residue. So I'm going to see if I can use some of this stuff to get it all the way chrome. So stay with me and let's see what we get. All right, so we have auto garage cleaner and we have some mother's mag and aluminum polish some steel wool i think the steel wool is going to be the the secret sauce to really get the dirt off or the grime gloves and paper towel all right so the tailpipes have this black soot around the rims of them i've tried to use uh, the mothers by itself and try to scrub use pressure washer but nothing has been able to actually get it off so I'm thinking using the steel wool pads this should be able to get it off I remember cleaning dishes when I was young and we had steel wool pads and it was able to really clean the pots really good so this is stainless steel thinking it should be able to do the same thing so let's see. All right, as you can see, those are pretty dirty. These are not that bad. All right, first thing first, I'm gonna use the degreaser, steel wool pad, and see if I can break up some of this soot. So I'm using Mean Green Auto and Garage Spray. Uh, it is safe on chrome and paint, so it should be good. Most of this is, is soot anyway. It actually seems to be working here. Actually, I knew it was gonna work. So some of this is really baked on, and I'm assuming because uh, of, I don't know how long, maybe years of not really cleaning it or detailing the pipes from the previous owners. The outside of the tailpipes are actually pretty good. It's just the, this inner rim that is really giving me the, the issue and that I really wanna tighten up. So this one's been sitting a little longer, so let's see if it's a little easier to scrub off. Uh, not really, but <laughs> it is coming off. Let's get some paper towel and see what we have here. All right, so that did get a lot of it off. Now, once you do get them back to clean, they're gonna be very easy to maintain as long as you Use some kind of polish, like the Max Aluminum polish. Just water and soap should be all you need going forward, and then just polish it with the Mother's or whatever you choose polish. These are hurting. Let me put a little something down. I don't know why I didn't do that before. So I tried to degrease her. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of Mother's polish on there. Put that on there. All right, now let's just scrub and see what we get. And this is extra fine steel wool. They come in various coarse textures, but I think the best for the chrome, where you don't get too much scratching or anything like that, is fine or extra fine. Or I think they may even have numbers, but I'm not exactly sure. Okay, so it is coming off, but it is caked on there so bad that it's taking a lot of effort. You may have this issue, you may not. Like I said, mine was pretty bad, way worse than what it is now. But over time, I think it's just gonna gradually get better and better. You wanna work this mother's until it turns like a grayish paste. 
All right, so I'm gonna wipe it down, see what we have. Still pretty dirty. It did get some stuff off. Try to hit it again. The steel wool is definitely a must. Can't, I haven't gotten this far without, without it. So this stuff is coming off. This is the other side. I'm gonna take some more time off camera and continue to work on it. And then I'll show you the results after I'm done. Cause it's gonna take a lot. But I'll be back. All right, so as you can tell, this is a new day. Um, I wasn't able to finish last night. One, battery ran out. Two, it got dark. And three, stuff wasn't coming off that easily. So I discovered that we have this product here. It is a stainless steel cleaner. Uh, you usually use it for pots and pans, but you can use it for anything that really is kind of stainless steel that, aside from maybe the refrigerator and stuff that have like a coating on it, but pipes, stainless steel pans, things of that nature. This is your thing. I tried a little bit last night and it did work. So I'm gonna to try to finish up today, see if we can get it completely chrome, but for the most part, take off all the black stuff and then see what we get. Shake it very well. Uh oh. Put quite a bit on there. All right, so I'm gonna focus on this right here. Every time I do it, it's getting lighter and lighter, so. Hopefully over time, I can get it off. All right, trying a new pad. Maybe that one's worn out. Going through these things pretty fast though. Maybe I'll let it sit for a minute. It's coming, but my goodness. It is taking a lot. What if I use a Dremel? All right, guys. So I got my Dremel and I have a steel wheel bit never used it i'm gonna see if it works on just a little piece because um, i don't want to scratch up the chrome but maybe this is the secret to the madness disclaimer using a dremel might be ideal to wear eye protection and make sure you have the right stuff before trying to use any power tool on your car all right let's start over here. let's see Hmm, doesn't seem to be scratching it. Oh yeah, that's working. All right, so I use my Dremel with this uh, steel brush looking attachment. Um, it seemed to do the job pretty well. Uh, so now I'm gonna attempt to polish it with a polisher bit, put a little mothers on there, see what we get. So my particular Dremel has a low and a high. I'm gonna use the low. High is really fast and can tear some stuff up. So low should be sufficient. All right, so did pretty good. I think that's the best we're gonna get for now. So I'm gonna do the other side and then show you the results from both and then that'll be it.
All right, guys, so there you have it. Um, we have completed detailing the tailpipes. Um, I was able to get majority of the black residue off, but I wasn't able to get to 100% as I anticipated I was able to do, but had to use several different things to try to accomplish what we got. And I think it's pretty good. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. All right, so if you found this video useful, give me the thumbs up. Click that subscribe button and click the notification buttons and I will notify you when there are new videos. Until next time guys, I'm out.